Hello, my name is Nicholas Stevenson. I'm an illustrator and I'm a lecturer. And in this video, I'm going to teach you some useful keyboard shortcuts to use in Adobe Photoshop. Let's go to it. First off, I've just got an A4 canvas, which is turned landscape. And I'm going to build some basic shapes. We're going to add texture to them and we're going to use keyboard shortcuts. So I'm going to press Control, Shift and N and I'm going to make a new layer. That's a great keyboard shortcut just to make a new layer. And now I want to draw something using the lasso tool. And to get to the lasso tool, I'm going to press L. So all these kind of tools on the left hand side can be accessed using just one stroke of the keyboard. So E, for instance, is a razor and it will tell you when you hover over it what the keyboard shortcut is. G is the paint bucket tool. T for the type tool. B for the brush. So I'm going to press L, I'm going to get to the lasso tool, and I'm just going to draw a really quick shape, just an abstract shape to play around with. So on this new layer, I want to color that shape in. If I just press Alt and delete, it's going to fill it in using the front color over here. And I'm still on the lasso tool, so I can now draw another shape really quickly. So I can press Control and delete rather than Alt, and that will color with the secondary color. So it's going to color with this back color here instead. And if I want to get rid of the wiggly line around the outside of my shape, I can press Ctrl and D. I think of D for deselect. Another keyboard shortcut that I use really frequently is Ctrl and J, which duplicates your layer. So if I press Ctrl J, I can duplicate it. And I'm on the move tool right now, so I can press V to make sure I'm on the move tool. And once you've done that, you can move that. And then you can press Ctrl J again, and you can do it again. Now I've got loads and loads of these orange layers, which could be a bit annoying. So I'm going to press Ctrl and E to merge them down. So I press Ctrl E, it merges one layer. Ctrl E, it does it again. So you can see in the, on the right hand side what's happening there. So now what I want to do is apply some textures to this piece. So let's go over and find some of my textures. Um, I've got this lovely lithographic children's book texture. While I'm on the lasso tool, I can draw around the bit I want to sample and then I'm going to press Ctrl and C, Ctrl for copy, and then Ctrl V is paste. And there we go, so I've pasted it on a new layer. And I think I'm going to apply it to these back two shapes here. So what I want to do is create a clipping mask which is going to clip that texture to it. So I'm going to hold down the Alt key and hover between the two layers I want to clip. And you'll see the mouse changes there. So that's a keyboard shortcut holding down Alt. And great, it's done it. So now it's clipped just to that shape and I can press the screen blend. And then uh, if I go over to this pink layer, let's add a different texture to that. Uh, let's take this one maybe. Again, I'm gonna press Control C. There we go. Let's take this texture and again I'm holding alt hovering between the two layers and it clips the inks to it that looks really nice I'm gonna just do a little adjustment to this sketchbook cover here that I can move around first off I'm gonna zoom out so I'm gonna press Control and minus so Control plus and minus will zoom you in and out of your image and I'm gonna press Control and T Control and T will bring up the little box around your shape and allow you to uh, shrink or grow the shape or rotate it, for instance. And then when you're done, you can just press enter and that will commit the, the shape. Lovely. And then I think I want to desaturate it. So I'm gonna press control and U and that brings up this panel here. I'm gonna desaturate it, just pull that saturation right down. And if I want to adjust the levels, I can press Ctrl and L. And I can just bring those levels in. And now I'm going to press multiply so that it's multiplied over the shape. I could say I'm happy with that, but I could also press Ctrl and I, which is an inversion. So it's going to invert the blacks and whites. So Ctrl I invert is a really nice quick shortcut to play around with. I quite like the uh, inverted version. That looks good. 
I hope you found this video useful and you learned some handy keyboard shortcuts that you can use in the future. Please subscribe to this channel, and if you want to find out more about my process or about illustration, then join my course on Domestica.